heck is up, Las Vegas? Wow. Woo! All right, Sam is here working with Visit Las Vegas and brought me as her plus one. They've given us a, ow! Sorry. <laughs> they've given <laughs> us a full itinerary. I tried to give you a cute hug. Ow, oh, they've given us a full, they've given us a full itinerary of bars, pubs, restaurants, Visit Las Vegas sign, kind of all the whole nine yards for St. Patty's Day weekend. It's Thursday, we just got here. We're leaving early Saturday morning, crack of dawn. So this is gonna be Vegas in less than 48 hours. Hope you guys are excited. We've been on a little bit of a bender. So uh, keeping it going for two last days. Uh, we're staying at the Virgin Hotel. I stayed here in June, July, I stayed here in July. Yeah. And it's very cute here. So about to give you guys a full room tour. Okay, you guys, we are getting ready to head out of here. I've got on a bodysuit from Lulu's and black leather pants from Express. I've got on the same like little lace up heels from Dolce Vita that I've been wearing like literally everywhere. And then I'm gonna carry my little Pauline purse today. A little bit dirty from my night out yesterday, but it is what it is. Uh, cutesy, casual for Vegas. Hello, Vegas. I didn't even make it over to this street the last time I was here. We really didn't do anything crazy. Kind of just stayed at our hotel. So I'm excited for a fun little night out. We're off to Hennessy's Tavern and I'm excited. It's like neon out. It kind of is giving Nashville energy right here. Woo! But a lot of obviously uh, casinos. We've made it to our spot. It's hopping in here, like literally packed. And lots of people that are older than us. But anyways, we are starting off with nachos that we didn't realize are potato skins. They look really good though. It took us an hour to get our food, but we got it. I got the burger of the month, which has like bacon, cheese, onion rings. I don't even know, but it looks good. These boys from the construction convention just hit on us. And they were like, what are you guys doing later? And we're like, well, we're trying to get our food. And like, we, the Raider wasn't coming around and they're like, oh, well, we've been getting good service. He was like, well, how, like, what have you been drinking? And I was like, I wish I could tell you because we haven't been able to get one. And he was like, well, I'm going to get you one. And I was like, because we're like setting a dinner. And then he just came back to our table with our drinks. Yes, thank you, Kian. <laughs> this year and I got this one that's a casino coin that says lucky you cute three dollars and 24 cents we just ran away from some people we're headed home now no, dead ass like actually sprinted. sprinted but we're safe it's all that matters and we're together which is what counts so tonight was genuinely one of the most random nights <laughs> Sam and I have ever had out together you think so? um this boy Keaton like hung out with us 
for a majority of the night and he was super normal and from Oregon and here on the construction convention and he honestly he honestly Woo! made us feel so much safer being out just the two of us because we realized that Vegas really isn't a place for just two girls our age um, yeah, like, on their own men here are all like there's a lot of like men here that like they don't mean to be creepy, creepy but it's like no they do mean to be creepy yeah they do sorry. and they're I'm like, like to be nice on and they're like 55 years old with, yeah, with yeah. wives there's and like, they're like want to get a picture together like, and I'm like no trips like there's a lot of men here that are like on boys trips that are I would say within the 50 to 60 age range that like are just weird ever be approaching us ever. as young women ever. so it's a good thing that we found a uh, yeah. 22 year old Keaton to just yeah, like hang out with us there was like a nice boy that was like around us so like it just like I don't know just to talk to but also like when another guys are around girls like other guys like tend not to swarm if that makes sense anyways good night thank you shine Las Vegas Woo! happy St. Patty's Day everybody we had a fun night no yet. not on my beer are you kidding me Mackenzie just balanced her dirty camera like on the the <laughs> where I'm drinking out of my beer like Come on. We had a really fun night last night oh, yeah, just with our friend Keaton. Keaton. <laughs> Keaton. Um, he was really impressed at all your subscribers. Really? Was like, what? Um, was he was like, he was really cool. He was 22 and he was working in construction, but he had his own clothing company that he was trying to like. Okay, we are headed out to brunch right now. I'm wearing a bodysuit from Express. My jeans are from Express. My shoes are from Dolce Vita. I like Vegas was kind of an afterthought in my head. Like I would have probably planned differently if all I had ordered all of these like green chain tops, feathers, like fun things, and just none of them came in time. So I'm kind of just wearing like normal people clothes. But you know, everyone I feel like on TikTok is always like showing you crazy Vegas outfits. And last night, literally everybody was wearing a winter jacket and jeans. Like everybody was in normal clothes. I think maybe it's just like the bachelorette parties and things like that that do kind of the theme dressing. But anyways, we're off to brunch and I'll keep you guys posted. I am really funny in Sam's vlog last night. Not so much on my vlog, but on Sam's. All right, we're in Mandela Bay. It is so insane to me the way that Vegas works. Like there's just Ron John stores in the middle of the hotel, but it's like kind of a mall, kind of a casino. Kind of like, I don't even know. <laughs> but um, this is where we're going, Rira Irish Pub. All right, we've made our way in and we're eating. Sam and I both got the mac and cheese to share. She got the fish and chips, which we're realizing we could have shared. I'm not usually a fish and chips girl, but this is literally insane. And then I got this chicken sandwich with bacon, avocado, cheese, and a pickle. So much is happening right now. <laughs> Like Sam, I think this is where America's Got Talents filmed. And she was like, I know why you might think that, but I think you're wrong. But look it. We just stepped outside, I turned around, and guess where we are? Okay, the Bellagio Hotel always has an installment in their like botanical garden area and it changes every year. So the last time I was here, it was like zoo animals and now it's all florals and it's super pretty. It kind of looks like for some... Sam has to do for her like collaboration post so I'm excited love a good little Vegas sign moment I am gonna change I think we've made it to the fabulous Las Vegas sign 
one of the oldest signs in America. It really is just on the side of the highway. To the right of us is the airport right there. And there's a big long line of people waiting to come. We're trying to set the tripod up, but we're having a hard time not getting people in it. So um, I'll let you guys know what we come up with. But yeah, it's not green. They said it was gonna be green, but it's not. about 10 years and this little boy is from Alabama he grew up down the road from me and if y'all have been drinking enough y'all feel like singing every time she gets along with me I see Georgie on her mind well she's all Alabama she's stuck on Georgia time I'm sitting here at this bottle way this song when she pulls in the ground Oh, 
perfect night. It's like 10.30 now. It's like 10.30 now. Wait a second. It's like 10.30 now. I'm going to shower and hit the hay because we got to be at the airport at 4 a.m. She's trying to make it sound like I'm like this big club girl. I really am not. I had them go to the club on my birthday because I was like, guys, it's my 25th birthday. Let's go to the club. And then DJ Pauly D was performing tonight and DJ Pauly D is from New Jersey. And Mackenzie didn't know who he was, which I know a ton of you guys do. And I have always wanted to see him. And we were It's just like, I know that's one of those instances that it'll be 3 a.m. and we're still there and he still hasn't come on. I know, but it's one of those instances where like, I've never had the opportunity to go to Pauly D either. I know, but now you have the opportunity to to see Riley Green, which you also didn't have. I know, but the thing is, Mackenzie, that Just say it was cool. It was awesome. Oh, I love it. He was friend. awesome. I'm a huge country person. I honestly, All I, was to say. I thought that he was better the last time I saw him, well, but I, I still thought he was good. We like kind of got there a little, I don't think we got there late, but I guess we did a little bit. We got there with his first song, they said. Oh, okay. Really? Wow. Yeah. Um, but. Short concert, literally an hour. But I'm you know what? saying, Bradley Green was over in time where we still could have went to DJ Poly D. Because like, in cities like this, like people come on at clubs like extremely late. But like they start going out at like midnight. Yeah, unless, unless you're in Miami and it was DJ Khaled and he just decided to like not go. And like, <laughs> it was like 4.30 and he still like, was It was like 4.30 on my birthday and I, all I wanted to do was see DJ Khaled with them. And they were like, Sam, like, we've genuinely tried to stay out as long as we can for you. But like, it's 4 a.m. And I was like, I know, like, fine, we can go home. It's like, I was like, guys, he's but coming. And they were this like, was the like, perfect like, happy medium, like, made both of us happy. Yeah. And like, now we can actually get a few hours of sleep before our spirit flight tomorrow. Yeah, our spirit flight. Um, <laughs> Yay! This is like the best trip ever, yeah, but we just like our, our... We had a good time here. Like a lot more fun than I thought we'd have. What, what do you mean? I always knew we'd have fun. I knew that we would have fun in Vegas, but I didn't expect us to be like rowdy like last night. Really? Like that's what all I thought about Vegas. But I also didn't expect us to drink as much as we did in California. Like last time when I lived in California, I think I drank more in our five day stint than I did my entire six months I lived there. Like I really didn't drink a lot at all when I was there. So that was a little bit different, but in a good way. Like it was great when we were there. So then when we got to Vegas, we were already a little bit like, our, our battery wasn't 100% charged, if you know what I mean. But anyway, all right, I don't know why I'm ending this vlog, but good night. I wish I could ask three weeks ago, Mackenzie, who packed this backpack, why the heck I brought three books on this trip. <laughs> Because, I don't know, I think I thought that I was going to be, like, having wholesome reading time um, each night. But instead, I ended up going on five dates and uh, partying in Vegas. So, you know. Rise and shine, Vegas. It is uh, for Saturday morning. Saturday, yeah. Saturday morning. And the weekend hasn't even started. And I'm grateful it's over. <laughs> um... I'm going home and sleeping and drinking water for the next for the next 30 days, literally, because, oh my gosh, wow. Vegas will really take it out of you, even if you are only here for less than 48 hours, but always a good time. So much fun this weekend. And yeah, I'm ready for a little stint at home. I am going to be home from today, March 18th, until April like 5th. So about two and a half, three weeks at home before I take off again. And I'm really looking forward to just having some time with my parents, just be at my childhood home, um, and to kind of get back into a routine, stop drinking alcohol, um, stop going out, <laughs> you know, 
come down to earth a bit. So yeah, it's been amazing. Thank you guys so much for funneling this dream. It really has been such a fun few weeks here on the West Coast. And now I'm ready to pop some Tylenol, chug of water, and uh, get on our way. Got a little four and a half hour spirit flight coming up. So keep you guys posted, but love you guys.